Come back. Yang Tianqi's shout was useless. Lu Wen and the middle-aged man disappeared into the narrow path. He did not understand what Lu Wen was doing. Was his mind muddled? Why did he leave with such an unrelated person? Why? Yang Tianqi slowly recovered from his shock. He hurriedly turned around and ran towards the city lord manor. Kid, you're quite bold. You're much more unyielding than your brother. The man looked at Yang Tianqi with a wicked smile. The two of them had arrived at a very dark and dilapidated house. The house was reluctantly completed without any leaks. It could be said that the house was bare and had nothing useful. Lu Wen looked at the man coldly and pulled out half of the silver sword. I'm warning you, don't talk glib nonsense with me. I'm willing to cooperate with you, but you have to follow the agreement just now and split what we get equally. That's easy. I think your strength is extraordinary and your courage is outstanding. With your strength, you will definitely be able to take out a lot of good things after you enter. Then I will have to benefit from you. The man rubbed his hands nervously and took out the storage bag again. He took out a map from it. He placed the map in front of Lu Wan and explained to him, This map was drawn according to the description of the person who came out. It's generally accurate, but there are still some uncertain factors on it. Lu Wan took the map. There were a few strange patterns drawn on it. At first, he could not see them clearly and did not understand the meaning of the markings on it. However, after looking at it carefully a few times and understanding the connection, he could tell that the map was a very carefully drawn terrain map. On the map, it could be seen that the upper half of the map was drawn with three tall mountains that connected together, forming a barrier. Above the barrier was a gray area. There were only a few simple fork-shaped marks on it, and it looked like no one had been there. Below the barrier were three different areas. In the middle of the three mountains was a dense forest. At the very least, there were a few strange trees drawn on it. In the two areas below the forest, there was a desert on the left and a large lake on the right. This structure was very strange. Most importantly, there were many materials names marked above these areas. According to this meaning, these areas should be rich in such materials. However, the markings on them were very simple. There were only two or three types of materials marked in each area. These are the materials we need. The map is relatively rough now. After all, it hasn't been long and the space inside isn't completely explored, so you might encounter some other materials. You can bring them back. The man introduced the items to Lu Wan as he held them. Lu Wan pursed his lips and placed the map on the dilapidated table. Why is there only the name of the materials on the map and nothing else? Don't tell me that there's no danger at all, or that there's not a single demon beast. Lu Wan looked up at the man. And since the two of us have already cooperated, I can't possibly not know who you are, right? The man was very satisfied with how cautious and smart Lu Wen was and took the initiative to introduce himself. Little brother, I'm even more at ease now. You can call me Huang Daxian or Big Brother Huang. I won't call myself uncle. If you follow me as my younger brother in the future, I guarantee that you will have a good life. Lu Wen scoffed at this and replied very coldly, I'm afraid you're not qualified to take me in as your brother. My name is Lu Wan. Huang Daxian raised his eyebrows slightly, not caring much about this. As for what you said, it does exist. There are fixed demon beasts guarding every area. This is also the main reason for the damage. Huang Daxian explained very sincerely. To be honest, only one in ten people who went in at the beginning can come back. Moreover, the person who came back was seriously injured or deeply poisoned. He died not long after. However, after figuring out the situation inside, the probability of survival has increased to 2 out of 10 people coming out alive. So you're sending people in batches for this 20% success rate? Huang Daxian hurriedly cut ties and said, Brother, this has nothing to do with me. I've already escaped from them. You can't blame me now, right? What is your goal? What do you want me to do for you? Huang Daxian pointed at the desert and said excitedly, There's something I want here. The fruits of the sand vine have very dense spiritual energy, and it can be used to refine some special pills. You only need to go here and help me pick them back. It's fine even if you don't need them. I can exchange them for spirit stones of equivalent value for you. Why do you want this? This is my own business. Brother, you don't need to know this. Let me tell you about the dangers in this desert. 
The most common thing in the desert are desert scorpions. These scorpions are elusive and usually hide about 40 to 50 feet below the sand, making it impossible to guard against them. There are also some snakes, insects, rats, and ants. Although they are also very dangerous, there aren't many of them. As long as you pay attention, they shouldn't pose a big threat. The most important thing is these scorpions because their numbers are too huge. If you're entangled, you won't be able to escape at all. Luwen looked at the storage bag in Huang Daxian's hand and asked, It seems like you're already very prepared. Huang Daxian took out a small ball and a light green talisman. This azure shield is a pretty good defensive artifact. I spent a lot of money to buy this thing from the market. It's expensive and can protect you from those guys' surprise attacks at critical moments. And this would escape technique. The corners of Huang Daxian's mouth twitched slightly. Clearly, these two treasures had cost him a lot of money. Otherwise, he would not have secretly reached out to that fellow. This would escape spell can be used three times at most, but the effect will become worse and worse. It can only achieve full effect the first time. You should use it carefully. However, it can help you break out of the encirclement at a critical moment and save your life. Luwen played with the two items in his hand for a while. These two artifacts should be very good treasures for ordinary people, especially for an entry-level cultivator who did not even have a foundation establishment artifact. He would be thanking the heavens if he could possess such artifacts. However, who was Luwen? His master was the omnipotently Yuan Qing. The treasures in his domain were stacked up in mountains. These were not worth anything at all. He had seen even more things. Since this guy was willing to take out so many spirit stones to buy such a precious Dharma artifact, it could be seen that he was quite concerned about this matter. Lu Wen took the two Dharma artifacts into his arms without hesitation. Huang Dashin's mouth twitched. Brother, since you've accepted these treasures, it means that you've promised me. You can't leave secretly. Although I don't have any other abilities, my tracking and pursuit abilities are top-notch. Luwen glanced at him disdainfully and said, There's no need to be so nervous. It's just two low-grade Dharma artifacts. Look at how anxious you are. Huang Dashian's mustache twitched. Luwen continued, I see that you wanted to invite the two of us brothers to join you just now. Then you should have prepared two sets of things, right? In that case, where is the other treasure? Huang Daxian looked at Lu Wen in shock and said, Brother, what do you mean? We've just started working together, and you haven't even taken a step out. Are you thinking of cleaning me out? Lu Wen looked at him very proudly. Old Huang, you should understand the situation. Only if I can survive can you get what you want. If I die inside, you will have nothing. Why do you still have these things? You're too greedy. Cut the crap and get your things out. On the other side, Yang Tianqi stood behind the man-eating vine and did not dare to make a sound. The man-eating vine closed her eyes and looked at the two figures flickering on the map, silently thinking, Sister little man, what should we do now? I don't know what's wrong with Lu Wan. I feel like he's a different person now. He won't listen no matter what I tell him. Did he really tell you that? That's right. That guy said that there's such a place. I don't know where it is either. If there's really such a mystic realm, you will definitely know, right? Could Lu Wen have been tricked this time? The man-eating vine thought about it. Recently, many people had indeed disappeared for no reason in the city. There was some panic. She was also thinking about why she could not find anything on these people. From the looks of it, there seemed to be an explanation for all of this. However, it was too strange that there was such a mystic realm in the city and she did not know about it. There's nothing wrong with what Little One did. I searched carefully, but I still didn't find any abnormalities in the city. If Little One can find the entrance to the mystic realm this time, I can save him. Then sister little man, do you mean to let Lu Wen be such a bait? But he's very impulsive. Will he? That's hard to say. I'm still not sure what method they use to hide that mystic realm. However, if we want to find that place, we must have clear coordinates. Otherwise, we won't be able to see anything. Yang Tianqi gritted his teeth and volunteered. Then I'll go with Lu Wan. He's too impulsive. If anything goes wrong, it'll be difficult for him to survive. I'll go and keep an eye on him. No need. Under my surveillance, he'll be fine. Just stay here and don't go anywhere. Sister little man, let me go. I shouldn't have left him alone or let him face such a strange person. 
You have to know that this is very dangerous. If Master Senior Lee finds out, he will probably be very angry. Don't worry. Sister little man, stop talking and let me go. I'm very regretful now. If I hadn't insisted on going against him just now, I'm afraid he wouldn't have insisted on going to the mystic realm with those people. Seeing that it could not stop Yang Tianqi, the man-eating vine could only agree. Before Li Yuanqing left, he had also instructed her to leave these two children here, mainly to give them more chances to train. It seems to be a very good opportunity for them to experience this mystic realm. If they could be used well, these two children could grow up a lot in this mystic realm. However, she still did not know much about the situation in the mystic realm. She was still a little worried. After thinking about it, the man-eating vine took out a vine from her slender hand and wrapped it around Yang Tianchi's wrist. Bring this vine with you, and it can be connected to me at any time. You can communicate with me at any time. If the two of you are in any danger, report to me immediately. Thank you, sister little man. I'll go now. After Yang Tianchi left, the man-eating vine slowly closed her eyes again. A very huge three-dimensional map appeared in her mind. The map covered the entire Sea City. Even every extremely subtle corner of Sea City was marked. However, all these places looked so normal. There was nothing strange about them. Where was the mystic realm they were talking about? They could only wait for the two children to check before finding it. The man-eating vine turned to look at the closed secret room behind her with concern in her eyes. If not for the fact that Yi Chilua was seriously injured, she would probably have gone out personally this time. However, Yi Chilua is very seriously injured now. She still had to preside over the overall situation, so she could not completely follow these two children. Master, please bless me. Brother Liang, this is the reward we agreed on. Huang Daxian placed a small wooden box in the hand of a man. The man opened the box and glanced at it before closing it again. He casually put away the box and stood there calmly. Brother Liang, what are you doing? Didn't we agree? You would give me another spot for a thousand-year-old snow ginseng. Huang Daxian had a pleasing smile on as he looked at the man. The man called Brother Liang glanced at him coldly and said angrily, Do you really not know, or are you pretending? Brother Liang, what are you talking about? How can I know more than you? Now, a beast tide has erupted among the demon beasts inside, Brother Liang said mysteriously. The chances of coming out after entering have decreased from 30% to less than 20%. It dropped so much? Of course. As long as you can come out, you will definitely be able to bring out good treasures. Your thousand-year-old snow ginseng was already the price a few days ago. The price is different now. Give me another 20,000 spirit stones. Huang Dashian's face twitched slightly, but he still smiled and said, Brother Liang, isn't that a little too much? 20,000 spirit stones at once. How about 10,000? This person did not take it and took out the box, wanting to throw it into Huang Dashian's arms. Huang Daxian was quick-witted and hurriedly pressed the box into his hand. He said in a panic, Brother Liang, why are you angry? We're already friends. I was just saying, it's really not a small sum. I'll still bring you every single spirit stone. That's more like it. Brother Liang nodded in satisfaction. Which kid are you sending this time? Little one, come here and see Brother Liang. Huang Daxian called out. Lu Wen walked out from the corner and looked at the two of them steadily. Brother Liang sized up Lu Wan and smiled. All right, I say, you're quite capable. You're always able to bluff so many brats over. This little guy seems to be quite strong. If he doesn't come to the same place tomorrow morning, I won't wait for you. You know the rules. Reading on Mybox in Ovelcom, please. Brother Liang, don't worry. I'll definitely be on time. All right, remember not to publicize this matter. The situation here is very strange now. It's already a little unstable. I'm afraid it won't last long. This is the time to make a killing. You're lucky. I have to thank you, Brother Liang. All right, tell this kid clearly. Don't let anything go wrong. After giving his instructions, the man left in a hurry. Huang Daxian kept smiling as he watched. The man finally disappeared before he stopped smiling. Just go to the place I told you about tomorrow morning and look for him. Have you recognized his face? Yes. That's good. Don't make any mistakes. I've already prepared everything for you. It'll depend on your ability when you get inside. 
I'll tell you most of the details. What kind of fortune you can obtain will depend on your own ability. I hope you won't disappoint me. You're quite generous. You have natural treasures and a large number of spirit stones. Lu Wen said meaningfully. Huang Dashian's face darkened. Kid, don't worry about this. When the time comes, you must find the things I want you to find for me. You should be able to understand the value of the things I give you. Those things are not cheap at all. If you can't satisfy me, you won't be able to bear the consequences. All right, cut the crap. Just as the two of them were about to leave, they bumped into an old acquaintance. For some reason, Yang Tianqi appeared here and blocked their path. Yang Tianqi heaved a sigh of relief when he saw that Lu Wen was fine. Why are you here? Lu Wen looked at Yang Tianqi in confusion. Shouldn't Yang Tianqi be at Sister Little Man's place now? Why did he suddenly appear here? Huang Daxian looked at the two children warily and said unhappily, Kid, didn't you already leave? Why are you back now? I'll definitely tell you. If you expose our matter, our previous deal will be invalid. Lu Wen said unhappily, Go ahead. I'm not in the mood to leak your stupid plan anymore. I was wondering why you had such a bad temper. I wonder which master taught you. The two children glared at him at the same time, making Huang Dashian's heart tighten. He waved his hand impatiently. All right, all right. If you two have anything to say, hurry up and finish explaining. Don't delay our matters. Have you remembered that place tomorrow morning? Just as Huang Daxian was about to leave, Yang Tianqi suddenly said, I want to go too. Huang Daxian was stunned and looked at Yang Tianqi strangely, not knowing what was wrong with this kid. Kid, weren't you unwilling to go no matter what? Why are you singing such a song now? Let me warn you, this is a very serious matter. It's not like you children are playing house here. You can't come and go as you please. Don't worry. Since I said I was going with him, I definitely won't give up halfway. Huang Daxian sized up the two children. He did not know what these two little fellows were doing here. Their actions made him feel dizzy. Have you thought it through? If you really plan to go, then there's no way back for you. The two of you should know my temper. I've always been very petty. If you dare to make fun of me with this, be careful not to lose your lives. After Huang Daxian finished speaking, he handed another life-saving item to Yang Tianqi. However, this was much less than Lu Wan. He had already handed the majority of the items to Lu Wan. There was not much left, so he could barely gather a set. Why are you here? Lu Wan looked at Yang Tianqi in confusion. Of course I'm going with you. How can I let you go to such a dangerous place alone? Besides, Master is still in seclusion. Before Master left, he said that we have to help each other if there's anything. We can't leave our brothers behind. Lu Wen said anxiously, Do you know how dangerous it is there? Only two out of ten people can come out alive. What will happen to Master if the two of us die inside? Yang Tianqi said indifferently, Don't worry. Master is powerful. Even if the two of us die inside, he will be fine. Lu Wen was still very calm just now, but after Yang Tianqi arrived, he was very anxious. However, he could not persuade his senior brother away so he could only accept this reality. The next morning, under the gray light, the two of them arrived at a dilapidated cave outside the city. This place had been abandoned for a long time. Because the underground mineral vein below was completely useless, the people who used to live here had moved away. This place had become a wasteland and was usually deserted. In addition, it was outside the city, so there were even fewer people. However, there were many people gathered in the cave abode. Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi followed behind Brother Liang and were thrown into a group of cultivators. All of these people were at the body refinement realm. None of them had reached the foundation establishment realm. Their cultivation levels were still very weak. Only a few of them could reach the peak of the body refinement realm and touch the threshold of the foundation establishment realm. There were about a hundred people. Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi were not conspicuous among them. After they finished arranging the formation, a man covered in a black robe suddenly appeared on a raised platform. Although this man's entire body was covered in a black robe, it was still obvious that he was very strong. Every move he made seemed to bring with it a violent wind. The man's eyes, covered by his hat, circled around and scanned everyone. You're all elites who have been selected. It's your blessing to be able to obtain such a mission. As long as you get a genius treasure inside and successfully bring it out, We'll split it 50 50. 
you can keep half of it for yourself. In the future, your cultivation path will be smooth and there will be no obstacles. As the man spoke, the reaction of the people below was mediocre. Everyone was nervously waiting to hear the 50-50 promise. Many people were still a little excited. Compared to those mediocre people outside, they can only reach this realm in their lives. They don't have such a chance. They can't obtain such resources. They will turn into a pile of yellow soil with white hair for their entire lives and nothing will be left behind. However, you are all the chosen ones. You have a chance to break through the limit of your lifespan and become an immortal mighty figure. In the beginning, this fellow seemed to be a little reserved and could not let go. However, the more he spoke, the more ridiculous it became. If Luwan and Yang Tianqi had not seen anything before, they would have believed his nonsense. But now, it seemed like he was lying to children. It was extremely difficult to become a mighty figure with a lifespan that was on par with the heavens. Even someone as powerful as his master did not dare to say such words. They, who were even struggling to build their foundation, had better take the next step first. However, these exaggerated words formed a huge influence in the hearts of this group of cultivators who had never seen the world. They all gritted their teeth and swore to come out of it. They would bring these treasures and reach the foundation establishment realm and embark on the path of cultivation. All right, I've already handed over most of the things that need to be handed over. There's still the most important point. I hope you won't fight with each other because there are many opportunities there. Save your extra energy and think about how to save your lives. Don't always think about snatching others' things. This is not worth it. Do you understand? Understood. All right, let's set off immediately. As soon as the man finished speaking, he waved his sleeve. Everyone felt their vision turn black. When they regained their vision, they realized that they had appeared on a pitch-black dragon boat. The dragon boat floated in the sky and tore through the sky leaving Sea City far away. The dragon boat drove all the way until it arrived at the side of the river and plunged down without hesitation. That's right. The dragon boat did not float on the surface of the water. When it arrived at the riverbank, it dived straight down and rushed towards the bottom of the river, stabbing into the river like a javelin. After entering the bottom of the river, a layer of light appeared on the dragon boat, enveloping everyone in the middle. More than a hundred people sat obediently on the dragon boat and waited quietly. After Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi sat down in the middle, there was only one leader left. The so-called Brother Liang had already disappeared. The man in black stood at the bow of the ship and controlled the dragon boat to continue sailing downwards. After an unknown period of time, they finally seemed to have reached the bottom of the river. The dragon boat slowly slowed down and finally stopped on the riverbed. The man in black gestured to everyone behind him. Everyone took out a green mask and covered their heads. Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi imitated them and took out the green hood. Immediately after, the layer of light on the dragon boat disappeared. The river water surged in and they felt nothing under their feet. The dragon boat disappeared and their feet landed on the riverbed. The soil below was very soft and black. There were many huge fish eyeing them covetously. Those big fish widened their eyes and looked at the group of people from afar. Everyone ignored them and approached the man in black. In front of the black-robed man was a pitch-black coral reef. These coral reefs looked ordinary and even a little dim. However, when the black-robed man placed the huge hand on it, he removed his black shell. Under the coral reef was a circular hole. From time to time, ripples would flow, as if it was transforming into five colors. It was very dazzling. The cultivators behind had never seen such a dazzling scene before. They were all stunned. Hurry up and go in. Don't waste time. It can only be open for six hours. If you don't come out in six hours, you will be locked inside. I'm afraid you won't have a chance to survive. After the black-robed man finished giving his instructions, he moved aside and let the people behind him line up and jump into the cave. The two of them followed everyone's footsteps and entered the colorful entrance. Although they did not know what was under the entrance, the two of them still jumped in without hesitation. Where am I? A colorful world appeared in front of him. Soft flowers and plants sat under his butt. There was the sound of birds chirping in the distance. He could even hear the sound of the spring flowing. 
How beautiful was all of this? Lu Wen opened his eyes and saw Yang Tianqi sitting beside him. The two children looked at each other, their eyes filled with confusion. Is this the mystic realm? It seems to be called the Dragon Palace. The two of them had asked the people beside them on the dragon boat about the Dragon Palace. They called this place the Dragon Palace Mystic Realm. However, there was no seawater after they entered. There was only such an endless grassland. Where should this place be? It seems to be a grassland in the middle of the forest. Only then did the two of them remember what they had come in for. They opened the map and took a look. On this simple map, there was probably only one place that matched this description. This forest was in the center of all the maps. The forest terrain was very complicated. There were swamps and grasslands like this. The animals here looked like they were hanging from the treetops. They stared at them with their big eyes and twisted their little heads mechanically from time to time. They look quite cute. Senior brother, these little fellows look quite interesting. I wonder if I can capture them and raise them as pets. Lu Wen crawled on the grass like a sharp cheetah. He looked warily at the little birds in the treetops. It would be a pity not to catch one or two of them. However, the very colorful birds did not have any intention of being afraid of them. They still hung on the tree and stared at the two of them as if they were looking at two dead people. Yang Tianqi slowly took out his short stick and looked around warily. This place should be very dangerous. Our main goal this time is the desert, right? We have to rush to the desert from here. It will take a lot of time. Let's move quickly. We only have six hours. Just as the two of them were about to leave, a chill suddenly attacked them from behind. Lu Wen suddenly raised his head and saw a huge green snake head behind Yang Tianqi. It raised its head high and aimed its scarlet mouth at Yang Tianqi's head. Look out! Reading on Mybox in Ovelcom, please! The two of them shouted in unison and attacked the snake behind the other party. Clang! After two soft sounds, Yang Tianqi and Lu Wan were sent flying. The two of them landed on a branch at the side and looked at the snake warily. Fortunately, the two of them had discovered it in time and had time to react. Otherwise, they would have been aggrieved if they had almost been bitten to death by this fellow just now. However, before the two of them could be happy, they suddenly heard a rustling sound in the air. They turned around and saw that the birds that were squatting on the branches of the tree and watching the show were spinning around like little tops. The feathers on their bodies that were as hard as iron shot out and stabbed towards the two of them. Before the two of them could get warm, they immediately moved again and jumped towards the empty space on the grass. It's over. This place is too dangerous. If we continue to stay here, who knows how many things will appear. Moreover, the terrain of this grassland is too complicated. The grass is so long. There might be something hidden below. We should leave quickly. After a simple discussion, the two of them decided to leave the grassland quickly. Their target this time was not this forest. Just now, they thought that these guys were harmless and looked very cute. Now, they no longer had such thoughts. Just as the two brothers found the right direction and were about to escape, the two snakes that had just been knocked unconscious recovered. They twisted their bodies, and they quickly twisted towards them. The two snakes seemed to have discussed it beforehand as they targeted Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi. Fortunately, the treasures in their hands were high enough that they were not at a disadvantage against the snake's teeth. Otherwise, with their strength, they would probably have internal injuries from the first collision. However, it was not good news for them if this continued. These demon beasts were very strong to begin with. In addition, they were like fish in water in this place. After a simple entanglement, the two brothers still left hurriedly. They thought that it was not that scary from Huang Dashian's description of this place. However, after they landed, they immediately realized how childish their thoughts were. This place was much stronger than they had imagined. For example, these two snakes were completely above the foundation establishment realm. Even if a human foundation establishment expert came, they might not be able to gain any advantage against these two snakes let alone these two inexperienced fellows. If not for the treasure that Li Yuanqing had given them, they would have long become the snake's food. The two brothers, who had encountered such a predicament, immediately became cautious. The two of them were abnormally careful as they advanced through the forest. However, what was delightful was that although this place was extremely dangerous, there were indeed many treasures growing here. 
They could find a few rare materials in the dense forest with just two steps. The two brothers had also gathered a lot of things after making sure that it was safe. Huang Daxian had said that other than the sandvine fruits he needed, Lu Wen could keep everything else that he brought out this time. Moreover, there would be a considerable reward. An hour later, the two of them finally arrived at the edge of the forest. Looking at the yellow desert in front of them, both of them were troubled. Although the terrain of this forest was very complicated, and there were many ferocious demon beasts inside, there was still room to escape no matter what. However, if they were really discovered by some powerful demon beast in such a desert area, they would probably not be able to escape even if they wanted to. This desert area feels abnormally dangerous. I wonder if we can come out alive after entering. I think we should collect some more in the forest. We can find someone else to exchange for the sandvine fruit after we leave. Yang Tianqi looked at the terrain in front of him and persuaded Lu Wan. Their main goal in coming here was to train. Huang Daxian's request was not a big deal to them. Lu Wen bent down and grabbed a handful of yellow sand. I don't think anyone goes to this desert. Brothers. Just as the two of them were discussing, they suddenly heard a commotion behind them. Two burly fellows rushed out of the bushes. The two of them turned around warily and looked at the two people who had suddenly appeared. Hello. The two of you must be planning to go to the desert. The two of them were quite polite. They greeted Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi very politely. Yang Tianqi took a step forward and looked at the two of them with a smile. The two of us happened to land here and wanted to get some treasures. However, there are no sand vines here. In that case, we should search the forest. You're here for the sand vine fruit too. The man suddenly laughed. What a coincidence. We're here for the sand vine fruit too. Is that so? My name is Lu Xian. His name is Zhao Gang. My name is Lu Wan. My name is Yang Tianqi. The person who called himself Lu Xian took the initiative to approach after seeing the two sides get closer. Brothers, you don't know. This desert is much more dangerous than you think. If you go over rashly, I'm afraid you'll easily encounter danger. Yang Tianqi pretended to know the situation here very well and said with a smile, We're just taking a look here. We haven't decided if we want to go over. That sandvine fruit is a good thing. I believe the two of you have heard about it. There are good treasures in this sandvine fruit. Lu Xian suddenly looked at the two of them mysteriously. Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi looked at each other and saw the surprise in each other's eyes. They clearly did not expect such a thing. They had originally thought that the sandvine fruit that Huang Daxian had asked them to find was something that could be found anywhere. However, if they were to say so, it seemed like this thing had some background. Why do you say that? Don't tell me you really don't know. Lu Xian looked at the two of them in surprise. Yang Tianqi said embarrassedly, The two of us came a little late and don't know much about the situation here. It would be best if you can introduce us. That's easy. This mystic realm is extremely dangerous. If we can gather together, even if it's not fate, at least everyone can guarantee each other's safety. This is also our best choice. After some pleasantries, Lu Xian began to explain. This sandvine fruit was born in this desert area and is just an ordinary fruit. However, something strange appeared in this mystic realm. What is it? That's a very high-level demon beast. Their bloodline is very powerful, and these guys reproduce by laying eggs on the fruits. Originally, demon beasts of this level shouldn't appear here at all, but for some reason, someone found the eggs of this demon beast among these sandvine fruits. What demon beast? I heard that it's something called the Black Pegasus. As long as this thing reaches adulthood, its speed will be astonishing. If it can be used as a mount, it will be a very good means of transportation. Moreover, their pile of wings can be used to refine very high-level Dharma artifacts. It's a popular item. There's such a good thing. Of course, many people are eyeing the desert covetously. However, the situation in the desert is very complicated. In addition, the beast tide erupted very suddenly this time. Many scorpions have already gathered. If we rashly enter, I'm afraid we will only end up with no bones left. Lucien's explanation broadened their horizons. The two of them had never heard such news before. It turned out that Huang Daxian was a scheming fellow. He had even told the two of them that this thing was not dangerous and that they should go straight into the desert. However, the reality seemed to be far from what he said. 
Lu Xian revealed a very honest smile and looked at Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi. To be honest, the two of us also want to try our luck. If we can really bring back two eggs, we will make a killing this time. These are living things that are much more valuable than those dead things. I see. No wonder Brother Lu knows so much about it. It seems like you two don't know much about the situation here. If you still want to obtain the sandvine fruit like this, I'm afraid it's risky. Why don't we form a team? What do you think? Yang Tianqi and Lu Wen looked at each other. Their original plan was not to team up with anyone else, but from the looks of it, the information they had learned from Huang Daxian seemed to be too little. Huang Daxian was dishonest and did not say many things clearly. It seemed like there were some benefits to being here with these people. Since the two of you are so kind as to invite us, the four of us can travel together. That's great. I can tell at a glance that you two are very kind people, so I invited you. Otherwise, I really wouldn't dare to say such an invitation. You also know that you can't guess what others are thinking, so everyone is still very careful. But didn't the leader tell everyone to try not to fight among themselves before we came in just now? I think it's better to be more harmonious. The smile on Lu Xian's face widened. That's true, but you have to be wary. Who knows what others think? Zhao Gang suddenly patted his shoulder and looked at him in confusion, as if he had something to tell him. Lu Xian looked at him unhappily and said to Zhao Gang, We're already brothers now. What can't we say in person? Isn't it just a foundation establishment, wild deer? As he spoke, he stole a glance at Lu Wan. Yang Tianqi said, If the two of you still have something urgent, you can leave first. We can meet here later. Lu Xian said very generously, Since we've already encountered each other, we can't hide it. To be honest, we've already set up a trap to capture a foundation establishment realm wild road. If we can capture this deer and take the demon core, we'll find someone to refine such a foundation establishment pill. The situation that Lu Xian introduced seemed to be very tempting. After all, Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi had just arrived. If someone could help them take down a demon beast first, they would be able to understand the situation here a lot. Moreover, from what they said, the trap had almost been set up, but they still acted so calmly, as if they wanted to invite the two of them to join them. If the two of them could pick up such a benefit for no reason, although they would not be able to keep the demon core, they would be able to understand the situation here better. The two brothers had a disagreement. Lu Wen's eyes were filled with eagerness, but Yang Tianqi was very hesitant. Lu Xian's gaze landed on the two brothers and had never left them. Seeing that there was such a disagreement between the two of them, he hurriedly pretended to be nonchalant and said, Actually, the two of us are still a little inappropriate. Although we set up the trap, it's still a foundation establishment demon beast. The two of us aren't very confident. If we can find two people to join, the success rate will be much higher. I see that the cultivation of the two of you is extraordinary. If you can lend us a hand, we will be eternally grateful. After he finished speaking, Lu Wan was even more tempted. How strong are the demon beasts? Can't the two of you deal with them even with a trap? A smug expression appeared in Lu Xian's eyes, but he hid it very well. He said sadly, Seeing that you two brothers are honest people, I won't hide it. To be honest, I'm injured. Otherwise, the two of us could have taken it down. Lu Wen asked bluntly, I wonder what we need to do if the two of us want to join? Lu Xian replied with a smile, You don't have to do much. You just have to back us up. The two of us will lure that demon beast into a trap. If the pig demon escapes outside, the two of you will help us chase it back. It's that simple. Lu Wen's eyes darted around. It didn't sound dangerous. Since they were at the back, they shouldn't be in a very awkward situation. If they could be part of it and obtain some benefits, it seemed to be a good deal. In that case, I'm willing to join. Lu Wan. Yang Tianqi was about to stop Lu Wan, but Lu Wan had already promised the two of them. Lu Xian did not give the two brothers any chance to regret. He went up and grabbed Lu Wen's hand, calling him brother gratefully. Good brother, it's all thanks to you this time. Otherwise, we wouldn't know where to find these two people. With the two of you around, I believe the success rate will be much higher. Reading on Mybox in Ovelcom, please. Lu Wen was vaguely worried. He turned to Yang Tianqi and said, I'll go myself this time. Wait for me elsewhere first. Don't. Lucian panicked when he heard that. That pig demon is powerful. 
I'm afraid we won't be able to stop it alone. I think we should. I'll go with you. Ten miles away, a flat, empty space surrounded by trees was quiet. There seemed to be nothing beside it. In the surrounding bushes, Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi were carefully lying low. You're really too rash. This place gives me a very bad feeling. Yang Tianqi looked around and felt that the two of them seemed to be surrounded by three big trees. Although this was a very good hiding place, it gave him a strange feeling. Lu Wen stared straight ahead, waiting for the two fellows to chase the pig demon over. You can choose not to come. If I'm the only one who comes, you'll get out alive. Why did you come with me? Yang Tianqi shook his head helplessly and said, What are you talking about? We promised Master to take care of each other. How can I leave you here? Just now, Lu Wen had rashly agreed to the two people's request without figuring out their situation. If the two of them had ulterior motives, Lu Wen and Yang Tianqi would be in a very dangerous situation. Fortunately, nothing seemed to have gone wrong so far. Everything was going quite smoothly. After a while, there was a sudden commotion in the forest. The two of them stared fixedly at the narrow entrance. It was where Lu Xian had agreed to let the pig demon in. As expected, after a strong spiritual energy fluctuation, a huge black pig demon roared and rushed in from the entrance of the path. Its speed did not decrease at all as it rushed towards Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi. The two of them frowned slightly. Looking at the extremely fast pig demon, they were at a loss. According to their original settings, it should be the two of them who controlled the pig demon first and tried their best to stay within the range of the trap. When the pig demon rushed in, they would immediately reel in the net and put them away. This way, everything would be over and done with. Unless an unexpected situation happened, Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi would not need to make a move. But now, it seemed like the pig demon was completely out of control. Its eyes were red as it rushed towards them, as if its target was very clear. It was coming for the two of them. This was very strange. Something's wrong. Where did Lu Xian and the others go? Why can't I see them now? Lu Wen also found it strange, but when he looked behind the pig demon, there was no sign of the two fellows. The back was empty. There seemed to be shouts of killing just now, but he could not see anything now. Something's wrong. What are the two of them doing? Did something happen? I don't think these two are good people. The situation doesn't seem right. Let's retreat quickly. This pig demon is not weak. It might not be a good thing if we forcefully take it here. Just as the two of them were about to turn around and retreat, they suddenly heard Lucien's voice in front of them. Little brothers, hurry up and help us stop the pig demon. The two of us were injured just now, so he escaped. Chase the pig demon back. We'll activate the array immediately. The two brothers were about to turn around and leave when they suddenly heard such a voice. They hesitated for a moment. How so? Forget it. Let's make a move first. At this moment, the pig demon had already rushed in front of the two of them like a madman. It seemed to have a specific target and wanted to rush towards the two of them. It was as if it did not care about anything else. Although they did not know why this beast was so arrogant, the two brothers still took out their weapons and waited. A slender sword appeared in their hands at the same time. This sword was very light and looked like it was made by the same craftsman. Just as the pig demon was less than 50 feet away from them, the two of them attacked at the same time. The swords in their hands suddenly trembled as they rushed towards the pig demon. The two of them did not intend to wait for the pig demon to come before attacking. Instead, they wanted to be the first to attack and block the pig demon in the array formation. However, just as the two of them were about to rush out, there was a flash of light in front of them. Countless patterns appeared on the trunks of the three trees. These fine patterns connected together and formed a secret net. The huge net covered Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi's heads, forcefully trapping them in the middle. Before the two of them could react, the pig demon had already arrived. After a short moment of panic, the two brothers suddenly took out the shield that Huang Daxian had given them. A thin layer of air condensed around their bodies, and they collided with the pig demon. Their movement techniques were very good under Li Yuanqing's training. The two of them barely managed to divert their strength to the side and drag the huge net. Taking advantage of the pig demon's fierce attack, they jumped up and hung on the tree. The pig demon's eyes were red and he was panting heavily. He widened his eyes in anger and looked around, but he could not find anyone. 
Just as Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi heaved a sigh of relief, they suddenly felt a very strange energy coming from the huge net hanging on their bodies, causing the strength in their bodies to be chaotic. The bit of power that the two of them had just gathered was almost resolved. They could only barely hang on the branch, hoping that the pig demon would not discover them. The pig demon looked around and suddenly discovered the two people hanging on the tree. It was instantly furious and roared at the sky. Its thick hind legs suddenly kicked the ground heavily, creating two huge pits. When the two brothers saw this situation, they hurriedly pulled hard and hung on the branch, climbing up. The pig demon bit the net, but it felt like its lips were scalded by something and hurriedly let go. The pig demon saw that the two of them were hanging on the tree and were unwilling to come down no matter what. It was also anxious to get it. The two of them had no choice at all. At this moment, Lucien and Zhao Gang appeared from outside. The two of them each held an array flag in their hands and waved it a few times. The originally narrow space inside suddenly seemed to have become cramped. The pig demon could originally withstand it, but it felt that its movements had become more and more difficult. This fellow was considered smart. It directly rushed in Lucien's direction, wanting to block their attacks. However, this was useless. Instead, it slammed heavily into the net. Lucien looked at the charging pig demon and could not help but laugh out loud. Brother Zhao, what did I say? I casually found two hotheads to be bait and took down this pig demon. You don't believe how simple it is. Zhao Gang was a taciturn person. At this moment, he revealed a smug smile. We have to thank our two good brothers for this. Their strength is extraordinary. I didn't expect the two of them to have such extraordinary strength at their age. They were able to survive a round in the mouth of this pig demon without being injured. That's why they could drag the pig demon here and let us operate the entire array. Their people acted as if there was no one else around. They conversed without taking Lu one to heart, as if these two fellows were already dead. All right, you two bastards. As expected, you planned this long ago. Yang Tianqi said coldly as he looked at Lu Xian below. Lu Xian could not help but grin as if he had heard a huge joke. Little guy, what are you saying? We're teaching you a lesson. Do you really think anyone will be willing to cooperate with you here? If I can kill the two of you and get all your life-saving things, they'll be mine. At this moment, Zhao Gang also became more talkative. What do you mean by not fighting each other? It's all nonsense to preserve your strength. As long as you die, all your life-saving equipment will be mine. It's much better to gather your things than to scatter them. Ha ha ha. Lucien smiled very happily. He really did not expect his gains to be so abundant this time. Moreover, these two little fellows looked like children from rich families. The equipment on them was enviable. Fortunately, they had caught these two fat fellows. It could be said that they had made a killing. Brother Lu, don't waste your breath on him. Get rid of this pig demon first before taking out all the treasures on these two little fellows. I think they have a lot of treasures on them. Let's make it clear first. The kid on the left is yours, and the kid on the right is mine. All right, hurry up and do it. Let's deal with them first. After a simple discussion, the two of them ended their smugness. They had gained a lot this time. However, the important thing was that they had to quickly deal with these two little fellows before going to the designated place to collect enough materials. Otherwise, they would not be able to report back. As the two of them spoke, Luwen felt the pressure beside him gradually increase. The air in this space became thinner. The wild boar was still charging around, but it could not break free. In the end, it was exhausted. There's no choice. I think we can only use that thing. Yang Tianqi glared at Lu Xian and suddenly said something strange to Lu Wan. Lu Wan could only agree helplessly. It's my fault this time. Consider it mine. Stop talking nonsense. Let's deal with these two first. We still have to find the sandvine fruit. We've delayed enough here. When Lu Xian heard the two of them talking, he felt that he did not hear wrongly. Weren't these two fellows already trapped by the array formation? How could they still say such words now? It was as if nothing had happened to them. Why are the two of you pretending to be stupid with me? You'll suffer later. I'll torture the two of you before killing you. As Lu Xian spoke, he muttered to himself and kept pushing the array formation inside to the limit. A small black wooden stick suddenly appeared in Yang Tianqi's hand. 
It was said to be a small wooden stick, but it was difficult to guess what the material was. It looked very strange. The moment the small black rod was taken out, it slowly emitted a strange fluctuation in the surroundings, as if it was leading a ripple to the surrounding air. Lucien and Zhao Gang looked at Yang Tianqi strangely, not knowing what he was doing. Brat, no matter what tricks you're playing, it's over now. D. He activated his array formation to the extreme and even threw out a low-level talisman, summoning a bolt of lightning from the sky. The lightning struck straight at Yang Tianqi. If he was hit, he would lose a layer of skin. However, a scene that dumbfounded Lu Xian appeared. In such an array formation, it was as if all the air and space had frozen. Even the lightning stopped in midair and did not unleash any power. He looked down at the array flag in his hand. The small flag suddenly trembled violently. The trembling was very big and gradually became unstable. Under his gaze, it exploded in the middle and broke into several pieces. Lucien was about to speak when he suddenly realized that there was someone in front of him. This person's skin was dark, but his two eyes were as bright as the stars in the night sky. However, at this moment, his eyes were filled with hatred. Lu Wen stared at Lu Xian coldly. I trusted you so much just now, and this is how you repay me? Lu Xian had no idea how these two little fellows had escaped from the array formation and even destroyed his entire array formation. Reading on Maibo Xin OVL. Calm, please. He did not know that not to mention Li Yu Inching's attainments in array formations, just the man eating vine's attainments in array formations were definitely top notch in the entire catacombs. Creating such an array formation chaotic artifact for the two little fellows to protect themselves was just a small trick. Moreover, there was no need for two troublesome procedures in the face of such a low level array formation. The man eating vine could create many such small things in a day. Luwin hated talking nonsense with others the most. These two fellows in front of him had just wanted to kill them. The best reward for them now was to destroy their souls. Scarlet blood sprayed on Lu Wen's face, emitting a stench. Lu Wen wiped the blood off his face indifferently. Moreover, the temperature of his body rose, directly burning the blood dry, leaving only some residue on the ground. The arrogant Lu Xian had already been beheaded. His head was still looking at the sky in disbelief, as if he had never expected that the two of them, who had painstakingly found these two young fellows, would be able to kill him in a short round. What he did not know was that in a situation where no one had reached the Foundation Establishment Realm, Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi, who were at their peak, were simply the top combat strength here. Moreover, the two of them had all kinds of strange Dharma artifacts on them. These were all given to them by their master. Yang Tianqi successfully controlled Zhao Gang. He turned around and realized that Lu Xian was already dead. Lu Wan, why are you so heavy-handed again? The two of them tried to kill us just now. The two of them don't have such strength. Forget it, one left is enough. Tell me honestly, what are the two of you waiting for? Are there any precious materials nearby? If you tell me clearly, I might be able to spare your life. Zhao Gang was so frightened that he almost peed. He looked at the two of them in shock. In that instant, before he could even fight back, he was already tied up by something and became a huge dumpling. On the other side, Lu Xian was already dead leaving only a corpse. It was too miserable. He had never thought that he would end up like this. However, the strange thing was that they did not even know how these two brats did it. Zhao Gang's lips trembled as he stammered, but he could not say a complete sentence for a long time. Lu Wen walked up to Zhao Gang and held the sword coldly. His voice was even colder as he said, I don't think these two people can say anything useful. Kill him. Don't leave him alive. Don't. At this critical moment of life and death, Zhao Gang could finally speak. He looked at Lu Wen anxiously. Spare my life. I know a lot of things. I will definitely be able to help you. Spare my life. Hurry up and say whatever nonsense you have. I don't like to stall for time with you here. You know that we only have six hours in total. If this time passes, we won't be able to get out. I know there's a grove of birch here. Lu Wen raised his sword. Zhao Gang finally dropped such a treasure trove in a panic. Birch tree? That's right. It's a birch tree. The roots of this tree can absorb very rich spiritual energy and are very pure. If you eat it directly, 
it can replenish a lot of spiritual energy in your body. It's a very good ingredient for cultivation. Is it really that useful? It's true. Our goal this time is that pile of birch roots. Then what are you waiting for? Hurry up and bring us there. Two hours later, the two of them appeared at the edge of the desert again and were packing their things. Yang Tianqi said hesitantly, Actually, it's enough to cripple his cultivation just now. He won't be able to leave without cultivation. He can only feed these wild beasts here. There's no need to do that. Lu Wen said coldly, The two of them lied to us just now. In my eyes, only those who are already dead can really not speak. As long as I'm still alive, I'm not safe. All right, we've wasted enough time here. There's only about two hours left. We have to find as many sandvine fruits as possible in these two hours. The two of them were covered in a shield and walked into the desert. The sand in the desert was very soft. It was as if one's entire foot would sink if they stepped on it. Moreover, there were many small demon beasts hidden below. They might suddenly be attacked. The shells of those scorpions are very hard. Ordinary weapons can't break them. I wonder if the wood spirit rod given by Master is useful. Yang Tianqi held the black rod in his hand and tested it a few times. His body emitted some spiritual energy. From Zhao Gang's words, they learned that the demon beasts here were very sensitive to spiritual energy. As long as a little spiritual energy leaked out, they would keenly sense it and be attracted over. As expected, Yang Tianqi only casually revealed a little aura. He immediately felt a squirming under his feet. After squirming, a pitch black scorpion with sharp short spikes jumped out of the desert and pounced at Yang Tianqi's exposed skin. Although these scorpions looked heavy and cumbersome, they were actually very agile. But Yang Tianqi was already prepared. He immediately waved the short rod in his hand up and down, sending more than ten scorpions flying. The wood spirit rod emitted a very dense and strange power. Under the collision of this power, these scorpions seemed to have encountered a natural enemy and the energy in their bodies was directly resolved. This discovery made the two of them very happy. They did not expect this wood spirit rod to be so effective on these desert scorpions. It saved them a lot of trouble. Their master had endless treasures on him, and the things he had prepared for them were all useful. It was really appropriate. The two of them bent down and kept flipping the sand under their feet, sending the scorpions hidden in the sand below flying to the side, forcefully opening up a path. Wherever the two of them passed, the yellow sand flew around like a tornado. In addition, the two of them pushed forward faster and faster, like a huge worm suddenly emerging from under the sand and constantly pushing into the distance. The situation was really terrifying. Even those who had entered the desert earlier were stunned by the scene in front of them. They all thought that something had appeared and that a powerful demon beast had caused trouble here. They did not know that it was two humans who had opened up a path for them. Yang Tianqi and Lu Wen couldn't care less about the opinions of others. After discovering that this method was useful, they opened up a path and rushed forward towards the place marked on the map. Originally, there were a few people here who wanted to pick it. However, they suddenly saw such a big dragon rushing out from afar. They were so frightened by it that they ran far away. Just like that, the two of them found the first gathering place of the sandvine fruits. There were a few corpses here. Most of these corpses were only left with skeletons. It was impossible to tell how they died. In any case, as long as you lay here and could not move, you would eventually become food for these desert scorpions. The two of them continued to search forward. They found several places and gathered a lot of sandvine fruits. It was almost time. The six-hour agreement was about to arrive. They had to rush to a specific place within the agreed time. Coincidentally, this place was not far from the last base they were at. This was good news. After the two of them finished collecting at the last gathering place of the sandvine fruits, they rushed towards the gathering place. We've obtained so much sand candy this time, but are we going to exchange these things with Huang Daxian? If there's really some legendary egg in here, won't it be better to keep it? Huang Daxian, that bastard, didn't tell us clearly when he came. He lied to us and said that he was using it to refine this thing. However, this clearly has other uses. This person is very evil. We have to be careful of him after we go out. As the two of them walked and planned, they suddenly saw a commotion in front of them. 
The yellow sand that filled the sky formed a huge tornado with the wind. In the center of the tornado was their gathering place. This gathering place was the closest to them, and they had come here when the time was almost up. It was almost time. If they couldn't get out of here, they would be in big trouble. What happened up ahead? There seems to be a very powerful energy inside. Could it be that we encountered a powerful demon beast? The two of them braced themselves and leaned forward, sneaking into the middle of the sandstorm. In the sandstorm, two incomparably huge spiders were facing a thousand-foot-long yellow snake. The three of them were facing each other, as if they were fighting. Under their bodies were many human corpses. It was as if these three had fought here just now and casually killed dozens of people. The three of them were very wary of each other. They looked around and could tell that the two spiders were probably together. However, the two of them did not dare to attack rashly now, as if this snake was a huge threat to them. What should we do? It seems like we won't have time if we can't get out of here now. No, the time is almost up. We have to bite the bullet and rush inside. After they make a move, we'll immediately find an opportunity to enter. As the two of them spoke, they moved slowly to the edge of the storm. They wanted to slowly find the nearest place when these guys were not paying attention. They could enter immediately later to avoid missing the time. However, at this moment, the yellow snake suddenly stuck out its tongue and turned its head sharply towards the two of them. The moment the snake turned around, the two spiders immediately looked over as well. The three of them had all discovered Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi. These three fellows were even about to touch the edge of the Grotto Heaven Realm. They were so powerful that the two of them had no chance of winning if they fought them. Oh no, they've discovered us. Split up. The exit was almost within reach, but they were targeted by the three monsters. The two brothers had no choice but to run in a direction quickly, wanting to take advantage of the chaos to enter the exit. On Lu Wen's side, he was just between the two spiders. The row of eyes on its head lit up as it watched the little thing run under its body. The two spiders temporarily put aside their prejudices and started punching and kicking the little fellow below. Although there was indeed a grudge between the two spiders, these grudges were not worth mentioning compared to the humans. These humans were still the main targets of both sides. A large number of them had already died just now, yet someone still dared to appear. They really did not know what was good for them. The huge spider kept dancing its long and narrow legs as it stabbed at Lu Wan, who was constantly twisting and turning below. Every time it stabbed into the ground, it would leave a huge pit hundreds of feet deep. Even the waves that splashed up made one unable to stand steadily. Fortunately, Lu Wen's feet were indeed hard enough. He watched as rocks and sand kept flying in front of him, causing a violent wind of gravel and soil. However, he could always find a way out in this narrow gap. Although the big spider was playing tricks with its feet, it did not seem to be paying much attention at first. Instead, it made way for Lu Wen to run over at a very fast speed. Moreover, these two spiders were slightly weaker. The two of them had yet to cooperate at the beginning and were fighting their own battles. Lu Wen took this opportunity to crawl to the exit without hesitation. He was less than a thousand feet away and could already reach the altar that was flickering with a strange light. At that moment, the door to the space opened. The light twisted and turned until it was a vortex. A suction force was emitted from the vortex, constantly absorbing everything outside. Seeing that Lu Wen was about to crawl out, the big spider finally came to a realization. It roared angrily, and its fat abdomen bulged high. Black threads spewed out from its abdomen, and it spat them out as if it was courting death. Moreover, these threads seemed to have a very strong corrosive effect. Wherever they touched, black fog rose. Lewin was shocked and suddenly took a step back because a thread had already blocked the path in front of him. It drew a black chasm on the path and isolated him. Reading on Mybo Xin OVL. Calm, please. On the other hand, although Yang Tianqi was facing a powerful snake demon, the snake demon did not give him much pressure. Yang Tianqi's movement technique had always been more agile. In addition, the snake's body was huge and there were many places to cover its vision. So Yang Tianqi used the advantage of his vision to toy with it. In the end, he gradually approached the exit. Seeing that he was about to leave, the snake was furious. 
It swung its huge tail and smashed it towards the path in front of Yang Tianqi, wanting to create a ravine here to stop Yang Tianqi from continuing forward. These demons all knew the use of this place. They had used this place as bait to lure many humans and kill them all. Although the two people in front of them looked much stronger than the fellows just now, their goal was the same. As long as they were stopped from passing through here, these two fellows would make mistakes in their anxiety. Yang Tianqi immediately stopped the moment the snake raised its tail. He stood there and watched as the snake's tail smashed down heavily. Just as the snake's tail landed, he instantly ignored the flying sand and stones and jumped from the edge of the ravine hundreds of feet away. Yang Tianqi rolled on the ground a few times and looked at the teleportation gate that was already in front of him. He looked in Lu Wen's direction happily, but he realized that Lu Wen's front was filled with venom. The webs of the spiders had already completely sealed the path in front of Lu Wen, blocking the entire area, leaving no room for him to land. Seeing that Lu Wen's living space was getting narrower and narrower, and that he was constantly retreating, Yang Tianqi looked back. The snake's eyes were looking at him venomously. Lu Wan, I'll come and save you. Come this way. Yang Tianqi ignored the victory in front of him and ran and jumped in Lu Wen's direction. Leave me alone. Leave. No, I promised Master that I would bring you out. Cut the crap and get lost. I don't need you to save me. Lu Wan, leave now. The yellow sand that filled the sky made the already low visibility space even more dim. Yang Tianqi could not find Lu Wen either. The huge snake was furious as it twisted its huge body, wanting to wrap Yang Tianqi in the middle. Helpless, Yang Tianqi could only take advantage of the snake's unguarded state to escape to the altar that had been prepared in advance. In the next second, Yang Tianqi felt the scene in front of him flash. Everything had changed. The yellow sand that filled the sky had disappeared, and the roars of the snakes and spiders could not be heard at all. Now, it has become the bottom of another dark riverbed. Outside the dark space, someone was waiting anxiously. Huang Daxian came up and grabbed Yang Tianqi's neck, pulling him up. He looked at Yang Tianqi greedily. Kid, where are your things? Give me the sand vine fruit quickly. Yang Tianqi pulled Huang Daxian's hand away and said coldly, I won't give it to you unless you can save my brother. What do you mean save? By the way, where did he go? Did he die inside? You're the one who died inside. He's alive and well now, but he's been entangled by two demon beasts and can't come out for the time being. I want you to think of a way to save him. Otherwise, you won't be able to get anything. Are you joking? I can't enter that place. Huang Daxian widened his eyes and said angrily, Can you stop being unreasonable here? As long as you bring that fruit out, I'll give you the reward. What does your brother's life and death have to do with you? Of course it does. If he can't get out, then I won't hand these things over. Dream on. As Yang Tianqi spoke, he retreated with the sword shining with divine light in his hand. Huang Daxian's expression turned ugly as he stared at Yang Tianqi with a dark expression. Kid, you can't be serious. Are you really going against me? Cut the crap. He went in to help you pick that fruit. Now you have to get him out, or you won't get anything. Huang Daxian gritted his teeth and walked up to Yang Tianqi. He glared at him and said, You're joking with me, right? I took out so many things. I prepared so many life-saving things for the two of you. But the two of you disappointed me and are going to die inside. Can you blame me? Cut the crap. Do you have a way or not? Huang Daxian was about to flare up when his expression suddenly changed, as if he had thought of a good idea. He put on a smile and looked up at Yang Tianqi. Good, good. I suddenly thought of a way after you reminded me. However, I can't do it. I have to ask Brother Liang. Then hurry up and find Brother Liang. I won't take anything out before I see my junior brother. Huang Daxian said with a troubled and sad expression, Kid, don't you know it all? I spent all my savings to send the two of you in. I don't have a single cent on me now. If you want him to help you so much, you have to give him something, right? Moreover, it's such a difficult thing. Others definitely won't like ordinary benefits. Yang Tianqi thought about it and felt that it made sense. This guy had indeed taken out a lot of resources. Although he did not know if it was true, it was indeed reasonable for him to say that he had nothing on hand. Moreover, it was a race against time. 
If they were to get entangled with each other now, Luwin would probably be beaten up badly. He might even be eaten up by the snake. Yang Tianchi hesitated and said, What do you want? Of course it's the sand vine fruit. Huang Daxian realized that he seemed to be a little agitated. So he immediately calmed himself down and lowered his voice to suppress his emotions. Since you've already walked around inside, you must know very well that this fruit is a popular thing now. If you use this thing to benefit them, they will definitely think of a way. I remember that they still left a special passageway. They will definitely be able to enter. Then how confident are you? Who can say for sure? I only heard them say that back then. It's very difficult to say how confident they are. Huang Daxian wanted to lie completely. Seeing the hesitation on Yang Tianchi's face, he immediately said, However, since he dares to say such a thing, he must have a way. Yang Tianchi couldn't care less. He waved his hand, and a pile of sand vine fruits appeared in his arms. Huang Daxian looked at the fruits on the ground and felt smug. However, he was still one step away from success. He could not give up halfway like this. He pretended not to care and looked at Yang Tianchi. Is this all you got this time? Yang Tianchi covered his waist and looked at him. Why do you care so much? Take these and get some benefits. It's definitely enough. Hurry up and save my brother. Huang Daxian's eyes lit up and he immediately agreed. Sure, sure. I'll go find Brother Liang now. He will definitely have a way to save your brother. Yang Tianchi watched as Huang Daxian walked towards him. Although he was a little wary, he did not put in too much effort. He let Huang Daxian put away this pile of sandvine fruits in front of him. Just as Huang Daxian was collecting the fruits, he suddenly let out a low cry, as if he had been bitten by something. Yang Tianchi wanted to go over and take a look, but after getting close for a while, he suddenly smelled a strange fragrance on Huang Daxian's body. This fragrance was very strange. He did not notice what it was for a moment. In the next second, Yang Tianchi felt that his entire body was very heavy. This made him sleepy. Huang Daxian looked at Yang Tianchi, who was lying on the ground, and laughed strangely. Brat, you're playing tricks with me. The two of you are still young. I see that your strength is not bad. You actually collected so many fruits. I really didn't misjudge you back then. You two brats really have some ability. Just as he was feeling smug, a figure suddenly appeared behind him. Brother Liang appeared in front of him with a bruised face. Huang Daxian was shocked by the sudden appearance of Brother Liang. Just as he was about to speak, he suddenly realized that there was someone following behind Brother Liang. That person was the black robe leader. How dare you steal from us? You must be tired of living. The leader's voice was very cold and his words were abnormally terrifying. Brother Liang's face was filled with bitterness. He was already half dead. Huang Daxian acutely sensed that the current situation was very disadvantageous to him. He hurriedly smiled apologetically and said, I think you've misunderstood. I didn't steal anything. The man in black threw Brother Liang to the ground and looked at him coldly. He's already confessed everything, but you're still so stubborn. I didn't expect you to find such strong thugs and steal all our achievements. You're really ruthless. Huang Daxian did not know what this fellow meant. He only felt that he was in big trouble now. Although he was retreating and thinking of a countermeasure, the strength of the person in front of him was not something he could provoke. Senior, I really don't know what you mean. Could it be related to this kid? I don't know this kid. I was just passing by. This kid fell to the ground just now. I don't know anything. If you want him, I'll give him to you. As Huang Daxian spoke, he threw Yang Tianchi away heavily. He turned around and rushed up. This movement technique simply used up decades of escaping experience. At this moment, he turned into a black shadow and disappeared at the bottom of the river. The man in black took Yang Tianchi's gaze and looked coldly in the direction Huang Daxian had fled. He followed him without hesitation. Feeling the powerful force approaching behind him, Huang Daxian could not say anything. He did not expect that his feet would really get wet after walking by the river for a long time. How could he have thought that he would encounter such serious trouble this time and even lure such a big shot over? The black-robed man carried Yang Tianchi on his shoulder and pressed Huang Daxian's neck against the riverbank. Although Huang Daxian's legs were very agile, the difference in strength between the two of them was too great. There was no room to escape at all. 
He had just escaped to the riverbank when he was immediately captured. Now, he was half dead from the beating and blood was still gushing out of his mouth. I was talking to you nicely just now. Didn't you hear me? You still want to escape? The black-robed man kept searching Huang Daxian's body, searching some of the things hidden on him. Huang Daxian wanted to speak, but the blood that kept gushing out of his throat prevented him from saying a complete sentence. It's a misunderstanding. I was wrong. I didn't do anything. He said something very ambiguous, but it was already meaningless. Since he had already fallen into their hands, there was no reason for him to leave alive. The black-robed man had also found everything on Yang Tianqi. This shocked him. Initially, he thought that Huang Daxian had enough treasures on him. However, when he searched Yang Tianqi, he realized that this kid's body was like a treasure vault. Even he could not compare to the treasures he had hidden. Good lord, the two of you actually have such ability. I didn't expect you to have so many treasures hidden on you. Those who were lucky enough to escape just now reported that two strange people had appeared in the mystic realm. These two strange people were powerful and had snatched away all the fruits that everyone had obtained. That was why they had returned empty-handed. This made the black-robed man furious. After some investigation, the black-robed man directly found the source of the problem. He quickly found the hiding place of Huang Daxian and the others before capturing the two of them. Although the fruits they had recovered were not as many as they had lost, it was already a very considerable number. In terms of headcount, the number of fruits on this kid was comparable to five or six people. In addition, he had made a killing by discovering these accidents. He did not expect to find such a treasure vault on an inconspicuous body refinement realm cultivator. This kid was really lucky. However, before the black-robed man could be smug, he suddenly felt that his body was enveloped by a very huge power. This power seemed to be everywhere, covering him in the middle and constantly squeezing his body. The black-robed man looked around strangely, but the space beside him was still fine. Nothing had changed. What went wrong? He even shook his head. There was nothing in front of him. He must have been too nervous and sensed something wrong. He had to kill the two of them quickly and go back to cut his losses. Otherwise, he would not be able to answer to the higher-ups. He had just raised his hand and brewed this powerful energy, wanting to burn Yang Tianqi clean. However, at this moment, the power became even more corporeal, as if it had completely enveloped it in the middle, making him dizzy. The black-robed man's hand trembled a few times, and the power condensed in his hand dissipated. He looked at his empty hands in horror. No matter how hard he tried, he could not use any strength. He could only watch as his body could not move and slowly floated up. In the next second, after the space in front of him flickered, a person appeared. This person looked like a young man with tender skin, but his body revealed an experienced aura. At this moment, this guy looked at the black-robed man with displeasure as if he was looking at a corpse. The black-robed man did not know why he was so afraid. It was as if he had seen his natural enemy when he saw this fellow in front of him. He was so terrified. Who are you? What do you do? The black-robed man asked Li Yuanqing in a hoarse voice. Li Yuanqing did not say anything else. He waved his arm gently, and the black-robed man's huge body turned into ashes like smoke and disappeared into space. He disappeared easily without any process. At this moment, Li Yuanqing's strength had taken another step forward. It was as if he had already reached the peak of the formation arrangement realm. The power in his body was even more corporeal. After dealing with this guy, Li Yuanqing took out a warm pill and gently placed it in Yang Tianqi's mouth. Yang Tianqi slowly opened his eyes. He looked as if he was dreaming and saw his master's face. Master, am I dreaming, or am I already dead? No, master, no matter if I'm dead or alive, you must save Lu Wan. He fell into that mystic realm and was entangled by two demon beasts. You must save him. Yang Tianqi thought that he was dead, but he still grabbed Li Yuanqing's arm tightly and shouted at the top of his lungs. Li Yuanqing gently stroked his back and immediately calmed the little fellow down. The little fellow looked at Li Yuanqing in confusion. It's fine. I will save him. Yang Tianqi bit his lip gently. The pain woke him up. Master, am I still alive? Let's go. Just as the two of them were about to leave, 
Huang Daxian opened his eyes unsteadily. He was shocked to see a man suddenly appear. However, when he saw that it was just a brat, he instantly felt relieved. Little guy, what's your relationship with him? Where did that guy go just now? Huang Daxian hurriedly touched his waist and checked his storage bag. He realized that it was clean. He immediately went up and grabbed Yang Tianqi's arm. He waved his fist and was about to smash it at Yang Tianqi's face. You bastard! How dare you steal from me! Bastard! These words seemed to have power as they smashed Huang Daxian heavily. Huang Daxian spat out another mouthful of blood on the ground and looked up at Li Yuanqing in horror. Only now did he realize the terrifying strength of the young man in front of him. He had thought that he was just an unknown fellow just now. But who knew that this person was so powerful? Who are you? Li Yuanqing did not answer him. He only looked at Yang Tianqi at the side. Is this person still worth living? Yang Tianqi hesitated for a moment before saying, Master, he might know how to enter the mystic realm again. Why don't we? Before he could finish speaking, Li Yuanqing raised his hand and Huang Daxian turned into ashes again. Then we won't need him. Li Yuanqing brought Yang Tianqi back to the bottom of the river and arrived at the small space where they had first entered. There were many people guarding here now. They were all waiting here. The leader had gone and had not returned for a long time. No one knew where he had gone. When they saw Li Yuanqing and Yang Tianqi, they were still restless. They did not know why these two people were here. What are you two doing? Why are you here? Li Yuanqing did not say anything and walked straight to the entrance. At this moment, the array formation at the entrance had already lost its effect. However, this was not a problem for Li Yuanqi. His fingers kept carving on the array formation. In the end, he casually took out two high-grade spirit stones and threw them into the two grooves of the array formation. The array formation suddenly emitted a powerful light. The light was so powerful that it was countless times stronger than when they had entered. Under everyone's gaze, Li Yuanqing held Yang Tianqi's hand and stepped in, appearing in the mystic realm again. Who is this person? How can he open this array formation again? It should be someone from above. But isn't it said that only people below the foundation establishment realm can enter? I feel that this guy seems to be very strong. Is he really only below the foundation establishment realm? They chatted softly outside. They did not know where this fellow who had suddenly appeared in front of them came from. He looked quite strong and his style was very unreasonable. The two of them appeared at the top of the mountain. Li Yuanqing only briefly identified his direction before immediately turning into a phantom and disappearing from the mountain peak. In the next second, he appeared on the desert. Master, look, Luwen is below. Luwen was actually not dead yet. For some reason, the snake and spider behind him were entangled together again. Luwen, who was covered in wounds, was hiding under a reverse slope in the sand. He carefully swallowed pills to recover from his injuries. Just as the two demons were fighting, they suddenly felt a powerful energy in the sky. They immediately looked up and discovered Li Yuanqing and Yang Tianqi. This was good. Just now, it had been chasing after that bastard for a long time. Now, two more fellows had delivered themselves to its door. This was a huge opportunity. The huge snake raised its head and spat out a mouthful of venom. The two spiders also raised their butts and sprayed poisonous webs into the sky. However, the two of them had provoked the wrong person this time. A square stone suddenly appeared in Li Yuanqing's hand. This stone looked like a small altar that had shrunk. There was a very rich energy flowing in it that made one shiver. The small square platform appeared for a moment as if it wanted to distort the surrounding space and emit strong energy fluctuations. Li Yuanqing swung his hand, and the square platform fell heavily as if it was sentient. As the small square platform fell, it expanded in the wind. In the blink of an eye, it turned into a huge altar that covered the sky. The huge snake and spider were crushed like inconspicuous ants. When the square platform was raised again, it gently landed in Li Yuanqing's hand. Nothing was left. Li Yuanqing turned around and landed beside Lu Wen. He raised his hand and took out two pills before stuffing them into Lu Wen's mouth. Master, don't speak. Hurry up and digest the medicinal effect. Lu Wen nodded slightly and felt the warm power emitted by the pill entering his stomach. 
I'm sorry, master. I've worried you again. Don't say such things. If you want to blame someone, blame me, Yang Tianqi said hurriedly. I brought him here. I'm responsible for this. No, master. It's my fault. I didn't listen to senior brother and insisted on coming here. In the end, I was deceived. If you want to punish me, punish me. It has nothing to do with senior brother. Senior brother came here to save me. Although Luwen had a good relationship with Yang Tianqi in the past, he had never really recognized Yang Tianqi as his senior brother. After all, he still had a sense of pride in his heart. He had defeated him back then, but after this incident, he seemed to have acknowledged him as his senior brother. Young people have to wander around. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to apologize to me. You just have to remember that the most important thing is to protect your lives. Master, stop talking. You're seriously injured now. The two of you stay here and recuperate. I'll be back soon. As Li Yuanqing spoke, he disappeared. The two brothers looked at the place where their master had been and heaved a sigh of relief. As long as their master was here now, everything would be fine. Their master was powerful and could resolve anything. Nothing was troublesome. Thank you so much this time. Lu Wen looked at Yang Tianqi sincerely. Don't thank me. I almost fell into the hands of others and was harmed by the criminals just now. Fortunately, master arrived in time. Otherwise, I would probably be dead. What about Huang Daxian? He didn't escape, right? Master has already killed him. That's good. That bastard hid so many things before we came in and almost killed us here. He didn't reveal anything about such a dangerous situation. Killing him a hundred times won't be enough. Yang Tianqi did not say how Li Yuanqing had reduced Huang Daxian to ashes just now. However, that fellow had already paid the price for his greed. Ten miles away, Li Yuanqing looked at the surging sand under his feet. There seemed to be countless insects squirming under this place, causing the sand to squirm like the surface of the sea. Li Yuanqing looked at the square platform in his hand. He had not tried this treasure properly after it was successfully refined. Now was the best time. The square platform in his hand was the Dharma treasure he had successfully refined with the devil crystals of those great devils. The inspiration for this thing came from the Soul Suppression Altar. This thing was different from ordinary Dharma artifacts. It had the space in its growth attribute. It could continuously refine and increase this ability. It was probably not within the scope of ordinary Dharma artifacts. In Sea City, there was an undercurrent outside the City Lord Manor. I heard that the City Lord is about to die. I wonder if it's true. How many days has it been since I last saw the City Lord? I wonder how the situation is now. Perhaps it's really as the rumors say. They discussed wantonly, as if they no longer cared about the rules in the city. Most importantly, it was unknown what had happened to the city lord during this period of time. She had not appeared for a long time. This was a little abnormal. Logically speaking, Yi could not stay idle for a moment. She had personally built Sea City. She had turned Sea City from a city with no rules and order to this. All of this was her hard work. At that time, Yi Chilua was busy on the streets every day. How could she have not appeared for such a long time? Something must have happened. That can't be. The city lord's body has always been very sturdy. How can she die just like that? I heard that it was the crusade some time ago. After that, the city lord never appeared again. It's said that she encountered something powerful outside. I knew it. Those demon beasts in the wilderness are all unfathomable. How can we underestimate them? That's a good thing. In any case, after those devils were chased away, everyone in Sea City can be the City Lord. Why can Yi Chilua say that she's the City Lord after she arrived? I think us brothers can also establish a union and become the City Lord. There were many people in Sea City who had these thoughts. The entire Sea City was in chaos. Although the man-eating vine had forcefully suppressed many people, and everyone knew that there was such a mysterious state preceptor and were more or less afraid, this fear could not stop the endless spectators. How could they give up such a good opportunity? One had to know that Sea City had completely changed. Now, Sea City was an ownerless item. That was right. Why was it that only Yi Chilua could stand as the city lord while the others could not? The people in Sea City had split into many gangs. These gangs were gradually growing stronger, 
and they relied on the current chaos to constantly absorb the messy power of the outside world. In addition, the man-eating vine seemed to be busy with something recently. It had been a while since she appeared, which made them even more unrestrained. They were discussing enthusiastically, but they did not notice a black shadow flash above their heads. The city lord manor was heavily guarded. How is the city lord? Is she not better? An official carefully asked the guard captain. The captain of the guards glared at him coldly. Lord Zhang, you'd better not ask questions. Do you understand? Of course I understand. Captain, I'm afraid you're thinking too much. I'm just asking casually. I definitely don't mean anything else. I believe that the city lord will definitely be able to survive. The heavens will naturally bless the lucky. This little trouble will definitely not stump the city lord. In the empty hall, a figure suddenly flashed and three people appeared out of thin air. The two people outside were still chatting casually, unaware that three people had already passed through their blockade and arrived inside. They did not care about the sentries they had set up outside. The city is getting more and more chaotic. We still need the city lord to come out and preside over the overall situation as soon as possible. The hall was empty. There was no one there. Li Yuanqing appeared with the two children. He looked around and walked towards a small door at the back. Master, will something happen to Sister Yi? Yang Tianqi looked up at Li Yuanqing worriedly. Li Yuanqing patted his head and did not speak. The three of them walked straight to the huge screen and circled around to the side. They saw a narrow door at the back. This small door seemed to be sealed by a very hard stone slab. Li Yuanqing ignored it and led the two of them in. In the end, the stone slab did not exist at all. It was just a restriction. Behind the door was a closed stone room. Two people were sitting in the stone room. The two of them were sitting on an array platform, their bodies glowing. The man-eating vine opened her eyes in surprise and looked at Li Yuanqing. Master, you're finally back. Li Yuanqing took a step forward and pressed a hand on Yi Chilua's shoulder, silently sensing the situation in her body. How did it become like this? Little man sighed and replied, Sister originally led the team out to destroy a group of demon beasts. Those demon beasts suddenly appeared from a new place and posed a huge threat to us. Is it just a beast tide? What happened? At first, everything went very smoothly. However, we didn't expect a large number of reinforcements to suddenly appear from those demon beasts. We don't know where those reinforcements came from, but they caused us a lot of trouble. Sister was also targeted by the two beast kings because she rushed to the front in a hurry. Then where did the beast tide appear? In a nest on the other side of the northern river. Has it never happened before? There definitely wasn't any when we first came here. They suddenly appeared. I don't know where they came from. Now, there are still endless demon beasts coming out from that direction and attacking here. We also have to split our troops to defend it. So the defense inside is very weak. The situation in the city is getting worse. Little man was very depressed. Originally, the situation in the city could be controlled, but because the situation outside was too complicated, they had to spend more effort to resist that group of powerful wild beasts, so it ended up like this. If they were left alone, with the strength of these demon beasts, they would probably be able to pose a huge threat to the entire sea city in a short period of time. It might even be a destructive blow. Li Yuanqing had been observing the nearby area recently and realized that many strange things had indeed happened here. For example, the place where he saved his two disciples. That mystic realm had suddenly appeared too. It was unknown where these things came from, but every mystic realm contained very powerful demon beasts. This matter was very strange. No wonder the natural environment here was so weak. On one hand, Yi Chilua was seriously injured and was still unconscious. She had woken up for a period of time, but the poison in her body could not be expelled for a long time and had become like this. She could only barely keep her life. Who knew what would happen in the end? There were still powerful enemies eyeing them covetously outside. They could launch a violent attack at any time. Under such circumstances, it was indeed very difficult to maintain the security here. It's fine, sister little man. Now that master is back, everything will be resolved. Yang Tianqi suddenly jumped to little man's side and said proudly. Little man hugged Yang Tianqi's head in her arms and said guiltily, It's all my fault. 
I didn't have the ability to protect you and let you be in such danger. What's wrong with that? We'll definitely protect ourselves. Sister, you're the one who's thinking too much. Li Yuanqing gently stroked little man's body to chase away the unbearable smell of skin in her body and slowly sat behind Yi Chilua. The poison in Yi Chilua's body was a very violent biological poison. From the structure of this poison, it seemed to be the energy in the body of some kind of pet. This power was very domineering. Although the poison might not be that strong, the key was that it could replicate itself. It could constantly corrode a person's spiritual energy and transform it into its own power. This ability allowed it to constantly accumulate in a person's body and become stronger and stronger, causing the infected to be unable to completely expel it. While Li Yuanqing was investigating, the poison was still spreading to the side. They were like a group of greedy devils, crazily seeking the power they desired. Yi Chilua's cultivation level was already considered outstanding among the humans. However, after being infected by this powerful poison, the energy in her body could only run for her life. Even her body was gradually slimming down and she was about to collapse. If not for Li Yuanqing's timely return, it was hard to say what would have happened. Yi Chilua seemed to have since Li Yuanqing. She slowly opened her eyes and looked at him. Young Master Li, I don't speak. You're seriously injured now. Rest for a while. Yi Chilua suddenly held Li Yuanqing's hand and said anxiously, Young Master Li, it's dangerous. There's danger in the north. Don't worry. I already know. I'll deal with the beast tide. You should sleep first. Li Yuanqing slowly placed his hand on Yi Chilua's shoulder. Yi Chilua felt a warmth on her back. Then, her eyelids became heavier and heavier. Finally, she couldn't take it anymore. She slowly closed her eyes and fell into Li Yuanqing's arms. Li Yuanqing flipped his hand and a medium-sized square platform appeared in his hand. This square platform's entire body emitted a pitch-black energy. This energy was very strong, as if it had some kind of attraction. Everyone's attention was on it. Congratulations, Master. You've obtained another treasure. The city is discussing the situation in the City Lord Manor. Go out and settle the matters outside now. Leave this to me. As you say, Master. Little man finally heaved a sigh of relief. Although she could barely help Yi Chilua keep her life, she could not expel the poison from her body. But it was different now that her master was back. With her master's strength, he would definitely be able to save Sister Yi. Those toxins were not a big deal to her master. Of course, this was the truth. Li Yuanqing shook the devil crystal platform in his hand, and it landed on Yi Chilua's body. The moment the devil crystal platform appeared, he could clearly feel the chaotic poison in Yi Chilua's body suddenly become very careful, as if it had sensed some natural enemy. They hid silently, wanting to completely hide their bodies. However, their existence was exposed under the light of the devil crystal platform. The devil crystal platform seemed to be pulling out wisps of poison from Yi Chilua's body. The black threads were like some mysterious conduit between Yi Chilua and the devil crystal platform. Not long after, Yi Chilua suddenly opened her eyes again. Her face had become much rosier. Just now, her face was pale and looked very scary. Now, she seems to have come back to life. She looked around in confusion, not knowing what had just happened. She only remembered that her soul had already drifted away, as if she had completely become a dead person. However, she did not know how she had come back to life. Young Masterly, am I already dead? She silently opened her watery eyes and looked at Li Yuanqing's handsome face. As if afraid that all of this would dissipate like a dream, Yi Chilua hurriedly grabbed Li Yuanqing's arm and stopped him from speaking. Young Master Li, don't speak. I know, I must have died. I didn't expect that I would not see you till the end. Do you know? In the last second of my life, your face still flashed before my eyes. The two little fellows stood at the side in a daze, feeling uneasy. The two of them wanted to quickly find a place to hide. They did not expect their master to have such a relationship with Sister Yi. Yi Chilua did not notice the two third wheels at all. She continued, I know I might be a little selfish, but I still hope that I can be with you forever. Even if there's no outcome, even if it might be wrong from the beginning, even if you don't like me at all. Just as Yi Chilua was talking enthusiastically, 
Li Yuanqing suddenly coughed and reminded her, City Lord Yi, the poison in your body has almost been removed. I just fed you some pills. It won't be long before the meridians in your body slowly recover. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Yi Chi Lua was suddenly stunned. Her thoughts were so clear now. She turned to look at the two little fellows who were covering their mouths and snickering. How could she not know what had happened? The city lord's face was red as she hurriedly struggled out of Li Yuanqing's arms and sat at the side to recover. 300 kilometers north from the north gate of Sea City was the territory of the Great River. After crossing the Great River and walking for another hundred miles, there was a dark forest. This forest was dark, and there was nothing outstanding about it. If it were any other time, people would not have stopped here. However, this place has become abnormally lively now. This was because there was an endless stream of demon beasts escaping from inside. It was unknown where these demon beasts came from, but they were all powerful and their numbers seemed endless. Li Yuanqing stood in the air with the two children and quietly watched these demon beasts howl in front of the river. If not for the natural barrier of the great river in front of them, these guys would have long killed their way to Sea City. These demon beasts crossed the river in groups. When they advanced in the river, they would be suddenly attacked by the demon beasts that appeared from the bottom of the river, causing considerable damage. Some of them were even completely wiped out. If they encountered powerful demon beasts under the riverbed, it would be even more tragic and they would be devoured. Even so, the powerful demon beast army here still caused a lot of trouble for the people of Sea City. Sea City's resistance army was set up 10 miles away from the other side of the river. Now, the battle was in full swing. The soldiers inside were all fighting a bloody battle, but they could only barely resist. Master, there are too many demon beasts here. It looks like only two hours have passed, but more than a thousand demon beasts have appeared. Moreover, most of these demon beasts are in the spirit transformation realm. No wonder Sister Yi found it difficult to stop them. If not for the fellows in the riverbed, Sea City would have been destroyed long ago. Lu Wen was terrified by the situation in front of him. In my opinion, we should go back first. This is too scary. If we fight them head on, I'm afraid there won't be a good outcome. However, since Li Yuanqing was already here today, there was no reason for him to return halfway. A small stone platform was covering Li Yuanqing's head. Ever since he refined this devil crystal platform, he had always carried it with him and often used it. In this situation, it could cleverly conceal the auras of the three of them. Even though they were above the heads of these demon beasts, these fellows did not notice them at all. The three of them walked all the way to the hinterlands of the mountain range. In this dark mountain range, there was a very wide cave. It was as if a huge hole had been cut in its body, or as if a huge pocket had been opened, allowing an endless stream of demon beasts to walk out roaring. These demon beasts were all different in appearance. Among them was a wild horse with huge horns on its head and eyes as bright as bells. There was also a muscular wild boar with steel-like brown fur all over its body. It charged forward. Every time they charged, they would smash a piece of mountain rock into pieces before stopping. These guys were all so unruly. With their temperaments, it was as if they wanted to kill their way out of the sky. Li Yuanqing's goal was the huge exit that had appeared. He did not know how that place was formed, but as long as he destroyed this exit, they would have no one to rely on. These fellows could only go where they came from. Master, there's no telling what danger there is inside. Are we really going? In order to train these two little fellows, Li Yuanqing specially brought them along this time and did not put them into his domain. Now, the two little fellows were a little afraid. At least, the situation in front of them was really scary. They had never experienced such a situation before. Although they were still pretending to be calm, they were clearly frightened by the situation in front of them. The little guy's legs began to tremble for no reason. Lu Wen looked at Yang Tianqi and said, Why? Are you afraid? What nonsense are you talking about? Master isn't even afraid. How can I be afraid? After you go in, the two of you will stay by my side. Don't run around, understand? Master, don't worry. The two of us will definitely be obedient and not run around. The opening on the outside of the big pocket was very wide. The three of them entered it silently at the edge of the top and no one even noticed. As soon as they entered, 
they could feel the stench of energy surging out of the cave. This energy seemed to have gathered all the disgusting stench on these demon beasts and assaulted their faces. Moreover, it carried a strong corrosive effect that was even about to corrode the shield that enveloped them. However, what was surprising was that this very powerful corrosive power was useless in front of Li Yuanqing's Devil Crystal Platform. It was as if the Devil Crystal Platform had some kind of magic power that directly absorbed all this power. Yang Tianqi looked at the changes beside him and clicked his tongue in wonder. Master, your platform is so powerful. It actually has such an effect. I'm afraid no matter how powerful a Dharma treasure in this world is, it's not as strong as yours. That goes without saying. Master's Dharma treasure is the most powerful in the world. In my opinion, this Dharma treasure can probably rank in the top three in the entire catacombs world. While the two little fellows were talking, they had already advanced thousands of feet. The deeper they went, the narrower the space became. The opening that was as wide as a pocket outside became even narrower inside. In the end, there was only a passageway with a diameter of hundreds of feet. It only became crowded here. Those demon beasts were all extremely huge and forcefully crawled out of the narrow passageway. If the demon beasts in front blocked them, the demon beasts behind would use their strength to push those in front out. After they arrived, they realized a problem. If they wanted to continue forward, they would definitely have to walk in from this passageway. However, the situation here was already like this. It was basically difficult for those demon beasts to come out. So how could they enter from here? This was mainly a troublesome matter. Li Yuanqing frowned when he saw the situation in front of him. This was indeed a small problem that he had not expected. Originally, he had thought that the space here would be very wide when he saw so many demon beasts outside. However, he did not expect this place to be so narrow that there was no place to stay. They landed in a corner. Suddenly, a wild boar stopped at the side and stretched out its nose. It kept sniffing left and right, as if it had smelled something strange. The wild boar looked around with a confused expression. It looked human. At this moment, the wild boar suddenly looked up and discovered the three of them standing above its head. Its eyes widened. It only remembered that after confirming a few times, it was finally sure that it was not mistaken. Those were clearly a few humans, but why were they here? The wild boar suddenly howled above its head attracting the attention of all the demon beasts. The demon beasts that were originally walking out excitedly stopped one after another. All of them looked up at the three people who had suddenly appeared above their heads. They were all gathered here as if they were facing a great enemy. There were still demon beasts squeezing in from behind, but they were all suppressed here and could not pass through. Master, it's bad. Let's escape quickly. We've already been discovered. What do these guys want? Lu Wen had already taken out his sword, looking ready to fight. Li Yuanqing was still calm, as if he had just noticed that he had been discovered. He calmly swung his hand at the Devil Crystal Platform above his head. The energy overflowing from the Devil Crystal Platform gradually became thicker, covering them like a rain curtain. This black rain was so unique. As it fell, it emitted a strange aura along the way. This aura was very dense. The energy gradually spread in midair, and the bodies of the three people distorted, as if they had been devoured by the air. They gradually disappeared into the sky. Originally, the demon beasts below had all gathered their energy and planned to fight to clean up this human who had invaded their territory. However, they did not expect that there would be nothing left after the light above them flashed. Not even a trace of aura was left. They just watched as these humans disappeared as if they had seen wrongly. Those demon beasts kept releasing their attacks at the space above their heads, trying to beat those people back to their original forms. However, while they were not paying attention, there was a distorted spatial fluctuation at the narrow entrance. A huge lion felt something brush his back. He looked back impatiently but saw nothing behind him, so he gave up. Li Yuanqing took advantage of the animal riot outside and sneaked in silently. After entering through the narrow hole, he immediately felt that the surrounding space seemed to have frozen. This was actually a mystic realm space, or rather, the power of a restriction extended from a mystic realm space. All the creatures here had to be restricted by the rules and laws here. Their movement slowed down. 
The entire interior became spacious again. It was like a gourd with two big ends and a narrow middle. Moreover, at the end of the space inside, he could see a strange light screen. The light screen was like a waterfall, and demon beasts kept coming out of it. Master, look. Those guys came out from there. The spiritual energy in the upper half of the gourd was very dense. Most of the demon beasts that came out of the mystic realm stopped here. After they rested here, not only could the power in their bodies reach their peak, but it could even increase by a few levels. They were much stronger than when they first came out. This was because Li Yuanqing clearly saw that most of the demon beasts that crawled out of the exit were only at the first and second grade spirit transformation realm. However, those valiant demon beasts that went out were all fat and strong and were at the sixth or seventh stage of the spirit transformation realm. The spiritual energy inside is actually so dense. If I can cultivate here, I'm afraid it won't be long before I can successfully build my foundation. Yang Tianqi looked at his surroundings in ecstasy. This was really a holy land for cultivators. If he could stay here, he would be able to see a miraculous effect soon. In fact, the rich environment was only slightly weaker than the cultivation place built by Li Yuanqing in his domain space. It would be great if such a naturally formed mystic realm could be used by humans. I didn't expect there to be such dense spiritual energy here. If only I could stay here forever. The two brothers saw joy in each other's eyes. This space was simply like a holy land for cultivators. Moreover, there were clearly all kinds of natural treasures growing below. Many of these treasures were extinct outside and could even be seen here. Moreover, most of them were extraordinary. Luwin looked around strangely and asked, Why hasn't such a place been discovered after so many years? If this place is really that good, someone would have long taken it for themselves. But after so many years, nothing has happened. Why? Yang Tianqi replied, Maybe it's because this place was sealed in the past and it was opened recently by some unknown person. Or maybe it's because those devils opened many of the mystic realms here. Is it the devils? Lu Wen was puzzled. That's possible. Li Yuanqing landed beside the waterfall and looked at the demon beast that walked out. Master, how do you plan to destroy this place? In my opinion, the defense of this place seems to be quite weak. If we can directly blow it up, it shouldn't take much effort. Just as the two little fellows were discussing how to blow up this place, Li Yuanqing suddenly said, We'll go in and take a look. What? Master, we don't even know what's inside. If we rashly enter, I'm afraid. What if this is the nest of those demon beasts? Perhaps there will be especially powerful demon beasts. Should we really enter? There's something we want behind this. The demon beast was casually looking for food when it suddenly felt a fluctuation beside it. This fluctuation was very strange and it could not help but look up. Less than a meter away from its head, three people appeared out of nowhere. Moreover, the three of them did not stop at all. They stepped into the light screen and stunned this fellow. It suddenly howled, but the other demon beasts only saw that the place was empty. They treated it as if there was something wrong with its head and ignored it. Li Yuanqing jumped to a higher point. This was a very deep cave. The top of the cave was faintly emitting a very faint light. It could be seen that there were some special ores embedded in it. These ores were embedded here and there, and some of them should have been embedded since before. This was actually a long and narrow tunnel that extended to nowhere. Just now, they had landed on an empty space and missed their footing. Only then did Li Yuanqing react and jump onto a rock that protruded from the side. At this moment, some heavy footsteps approached from afar. The three of them took the opportunity to hide under the huge rock. A heavy bear crawled around leisurely, using its hard head to move around as if it smelled something. Beside him was a thin red-haired monkey with long limbs. The monkey scratched its ears and cheeks as it walked, looking around as if it was looking for something. Did you find it? Where is it? It's clean. There's nothing here. But mother said something broke in here. Let's see. The big stupid bear stopped when it reached the place where the three of them landed. It leaned against the huge rock and stretched out its nose to sniff around. Its big nose was quite useful. The monkey jumped onto the stone and sat cross-legged on it, looking around in boredom. When are we going there to play? The door is actually open. It's a little boring to guard here. What are you thinking? 
It's enough for us to protect mother now. Why are you still thinking of running around? The two little fellows widened their eyes and lay on the Yuanqing's body. They did not dare to say anything. The two powerful demon beasts were beside them, but they did not sense the existence of the three of them at all. These two fellows were actually both at the sixth grade formation arrangement realm. How did such strength suddenly become so ordinary in the catacombs? The monkey said in dissatisfaction, There are so many brothers in this place. How can something happen? Besides, protecting mother is important. We can just get two underlings to do this simple thing. Why must they trouble us? It's really a waste of time. The big stupid bear looked up at the monkey and said, Stop complaining. After they completely clean up the outside world, there will naturally be room for you to play. Now, you should obediently guard here as instructed. Don't make any mistakes, or we won't be able to bear the consequences. All right, all right. How many times have you said this? I'm tired of hearing it. However, I heard that the situation outside isn't very smooth now. I wonder what they're doing. They've wasted so much spiritual energy on them. I don't see any effect. They still need someone to go out and lead. The big stupid bear nodded in agreement and said, it's indeed a little too chaotic outside now. I heard that mother plans to send spirit child out. Spirit child? Why can he go out? Monkey jumped up unhappily and landed on a small rock from behind. Why can't I go for such a thing? If I go out, I can definitely clean up those fellows outside. Why should I let this guy waste time? What's the point of telling me this? Isn't this matter decided by mother? In my opinion, you should just resign yourself to fate. Stop complaining all day long. If someone hears you, you will. As the big stupid bear was talking, it was suddenly interrupted by Monkey. Monkey's big eyes widened and his muscles seemed to have tensed up. The big stupid bear did not know what the monkey was doing, but there was always a reason why this fellow often looked like this. He just did not know why this time. The monkey slowly turned around and looked behind him. He had clearly kicked a small rock just now and had even kicked it down. However, the rock did not make any sound when it landed. That was strange. Monkey turned his head and gave the big stupid bear a look. After the two of them finished communicating, they separated. The big stupid bear circled around from below, and Monkey stood at the top. The two of them decided to outflank and capture the fellow below to see what it was. A shiny silver rod appeared in Monkey's hand. He waved the rod and stabbed it at his feet. Rocks flew everywhere below. His rod had dug a huge pit. Monkey jumped and turned to look at the shadow behind the huge rock, but there was clearly nothing there. At this moment, the big bear also circled around. The big bear was about to smash the two big hammers in its hands, but at a glance, it was clearly empty. Big bear calmed himself down and looked at Monkey in confusion. Are you crazy again? There's nothing down there. You're scaring everyone to death. Monkey looked down at the empty space below in confusion. He had found the small rock from before. Now, the small rock had landed on the corpse of a dead animal. It was because of such a corpse that the stone did not roll or make a sound and landed on the ground. There shouldn't be any flaws in this way, but he felt that something was wrong. What was wrong? What went wrong? Why did everything feel so strange? It's just a dead guy. Look at how frightened you are. I think you've been too nervous recently and are panicking. The big bear's mouth was still complaining. Monkey said in confusion, that's not right. It was clearly not this feeling just now. There must be something wrong. All right, I think you're too nervous now. You need to find a place to relax. If you go out in your current state, you won't even have to encounter the enemy for you to have some problems. That won't be good. Although Monkey was still puzzled, he could not stand big bears pestering. The two of them still left hurriedly with doubts. However, they really did not know what had happened here, so they just forgot about what happened here. Maybe mother's senses are wrong. Our place is impregnable. It's impossible for ordinary humans to enter. Moreover, they can't even take care of themselves outside now. How can they be in the mood to come here? We'll just wait for the day of victory to come early. The big bear brought the monkey and the two of them left with their arms around each other's shoulders. The black fog slowly parted, revealing three figures inside. Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi did not even dare to breathe loudly. The two of them widened their eyes and looked at the two powerful demon beasts. 
It was not until the two of them left that the two children finally relaxed and dared to breathe. It was really too dangerous just now. They were almost discovered. They did not know where that guy got his sense of smell from, but he suddenly kicked a rock down and it happened to land on everyone. If not for their master's quick reaction, they would have been discovered just now. This was really too dangerous. Lu Wen carefully looked in the direction where the two of them had left and said in shock, Master, the strength of these demon beasts is too powerful. Any one of them is already so powerful. I wonder how powerful they will be later on. What kind of place is this? I didn't expect there to be such an existence in the catacombs. If we let them all out, I'm afraid it will be a calamity. This place simply refreshed the little guy's worldview. They had never seen anyone stronger than the spirit transformation realm in their lives. Even those at the spirit transformation realm were rare existences among humans. However, ever since he followed Li Yuanqing, he realized that even the formation arrangement realm was completely worthless in this world. There were several of them everywhere. This contrast was too strong. Although the two children were shocked, the more shocked they were, the more excited they were. These two children were very bold. If they were ordinary children, they would have been so frightened that they would cry and run back. However, there was only a strong drive on both of them. Do the two of you want to become such strong people? Of course, master. Ever since I was young, I've dreamed of becoming a top expert one day. This is my dream. I've never seen this before, but now I know what kind of person I should become. I know what kind of person I will become. Yang Tianqi was more eloquent and spoke much better. Lu Wen was not so good at expressing himself, but he was more determined. Master, why don't you train us to be such experts? We want to be as powerful as them. Li Yuanqing patted their heads gently and encouraged them. As long as the two of you are willing to work hard to cultivate, I will definitely help you. Do you understand? As soon as Li Yuanqing finished speaking, he suddenly disappeared into the darkness with the two children. The big bear and monkey who had left just now had returned. The monkey was suspicious and looked around. Big bear followed behind him impatiently. I say, Red Wave, how long are you going to cause a ruckus? Big bear said very helplessly. We've almost turned this place upside down. There's nothing here at all. Why don't you believe me? Or do you feel like there's something here? The monkey continued to search everywhere, but he still could not find anything. This made him very depressed. The big bear said helplessly, Tell me the truth. Are you looking for trouble now because mother doesn't want you to go out? I told you. This is mother's decision. If you want to use this method, you're courting death. The fur on the monkey's head suddenly stood up. He turned his upper body around and glared at big bear. I told you to stop talking so much nonsense. I clearly sensed that humans were here just now but there's clearly nothing here. There must be. Monkey said firmly, the humans have already infiltrated our mystic realm. Big Bear asked in confusion, how is that possible? If the human race really had such strength, they wouldn't be hiding in that city now. They would have sent people to block this valley long ago. However, Monkey still said persistently, there must be humans here. Go back and report to Mother immediately. There must be humans here. Big Bear helplessly wanted to stop Monkey, but Monkey ran back in a hurry and immediately reported it. Big Bear could only look at it helplessly. He really could not figure out what was wrong with his brother. Why did he have to be so stubborn as to think that the humans were here today? Red Wave is really going crazy. After muttering helplessly, the Big Bear still followed obediently. At this point, he could only follow Monkey. The two of them were in the same team. If there was a disagreement, it would be easy for others to take advantage of it. They did not allow it at all. Li Yuanqing had already brought the two little fellows along the way they had come and slowly followed after them. Master, bad news. Did that monkey discover us just now? Will we be captured if they report it? Li Yuanqing also frowned. He did not expect this monkey to be able to grasp their location. This was impossible. We don't have much time now. We have to hurry. We have to figure this place out before their people discover us. I think there must be a very important place here. Li Yuanqing brought the two little fellows and followed behind the big stupid bear, slowly sneaking into the complicated cave maze. They could see the cave at one glance. There were holes in the rock walls on both sides, 
and there were cocoons placed in the holes. Those things that looked like shears contained very powerful forces.